Well, hello again, YouTube. AJ Shaver from Shaver Sales here. Uh, today we're going to talk about firewood. Surprising, I know, right? Who would have guessed? So let's go down a quick little checklist for uh, being able to do firewood. Uh, beard, check. Flannel shirt, check. Logger boots, check. Splitting mall, no, don't need one. Chainsaw, nope, don't need one of those either because we work really hard to be lazy. So let's get the camera turned around and I'll show you what we have going on today. All right, right off the bat here, I'm going to get things fired up. And because we sell all of our stuff for either retail sale or for self-consumption inside of a, a small indoor stove, I like the smaller pieces. So we're going to go ahead and swap out this four-way wedge with the new six-way wedge. So um, we're going to get things fired up and I'll show you how all this works. Plus, it'll give the engine a good chance to, uh, to warm up here before we really get on it. So what we do is we drop the wedge all the way down. I'll come around here so we can pop it out. So this is the new wedge holder, which is kind of cool. Drop that, then we'll come in here. It's almost light in comparison to my 10-way diamond wedge in that 1824. That thing is just so stupid heavy, but there's a lot of metal there too, so you really can't complain about that. Put our keeper bolt back in, our keeper pin. Little R clip. Grab the six-way. Just like that, our wedge is in. about these you can anything that's too big that you don't want you can recycle all this stuff right back in there and just do a quick resplit like I said we're splitting for indoor firewood use or inside burner and I like a nice small piece cycle on mine I got spoiled this has the automatic return but mine's got the automatic forward as well Sixteen. 
like with the big 1824 there behind me it's got that positive log stop and that's what's stopping the wood this way you just have a visual with the little snow plow whip hanging down And yes, I do like a nice small piece. That's why I run a 10-way diamond wedge in my sweater. The other piece with the 1824, you get that last log holder comes up to support that last piece coming through. I'll see if I can remember later, but around this side, there's actually, there's a measuring gauge right here. So if you advance this in, it tells you where 16 inches is. So then you can just cut off that last disc. So it's easier to cut off this last piece, and then what's left on the table is actually your 16 inches. how big this is 17 inches and this is red oak just so you know right there the saw bar sucked inside of it it's a big piece of wood for this machine happy with the, the bigger pieces but I know what my customers like and I know what fits in my stove so if they're nice and small I can kind of play Tetris with them and get a really nice long burn I'm just gonna push this over a little bit to get it as close as I can to the saw So 
it just makes it through the bark. If you can see that, I hope so, but it just makes it. And no, for full disclosure, I didn't measure these before I put them on the live deck. I don't do those kind of videos. These just happen to be the two shortest ones that I had on the wood pile that I didn't have to cut down. so funny, it just makes it. The last time I used a 1424 was in August of 2019. We were at the Boonville Expo. That's when I got signed up to be a dealer with Brute Force. And uh, so outside of that, you know, event over a year and a half ago, it's the only time I've ever really had on, you know, a 1424 like this. And I do recommend, you know, upgrading to the, the heavy duty package. That way you get the oil cooler and the bigger motor. Um, the 20 horsepower motor gets it done, but it, you can really hear it like it's it's laboring. The six or the 26 and a half horsepower motor, it's just working it. So both get it done, but I think the 26 and a half horsepower motor gets it done better. Right there, I love it. And if you can't tell, I'm really just having fun doing this, so. Call it sawdust therapy. earlier you know the 1824 is the first model where that last log holder comes in standard and it really makes it nice because you can cut you know a 24 inch diameter on that 1824 so you get 24 inches worth of wood hanging out there it's a lot for one hand to hold This is all red oak. There's knots and everything in here, and it's just, it's going right through it. All right, we're down to 16 inches there. So here's that measuring guide that I was telling you about there the first time. So when I kept peeking around the side, you can just kind of get the, the edge of the wood. So if you're going for that 16 inch piece, you can let that little disc kind of hang over the end and uh, cut that off so you're left with nothing but the large piece. Because if it's longer, 
on the splitter trough side over here, then it's going to fall down in there every time. But if you just back it off, you know, that little bit, so you're just cutting off that, that pie, shi pie sized piece. Huh, been a long day. Um, you know, it's just easier that way to feed through the small piece. Um, again, we were kind of working with the oiler here, just on the bigger piece, we turn it up. Um, it's still got a good wet bar there, so that's nice. Um, like it good and sloppy. Again, you don't want it so it's dripping out of the guard, but you do see a nice little line there with the sawdust and the oil, um, and that's what we want to see every time. But no big gobbers just kind of dropping out of there. Um, whew, almost a, a third of a cord there. Very, very nice. All nice sized pieces that came through. I think I'm gonna run over and grab, I got a short piece over there just to kind of finish this off. Then we can have another, another full bag. I can opening that I've got between the pickup truck and everything else. Okay, so I fit through with the machine. The question is, will I fit through with the log? Just kind of hug one side here. all-wheel steering will definitely spoil you in a hurry. at home because we're over top of the engine and if I mess up it could be really really expensive but thankfully I didn't mess up just send that through then but that's what I was telling you about before it was right there
trying to clean out a few pieces that are caught in the wedge. I'm missing your GoPro camera because it was right there. That's not good. But it'll make good video. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Yay! We found it. Um, again, you can reach me. It's 833-SPLITTER, uh, 833-775-4887. You can also email me. It's sales at shaverequipment.com. And we hope to hear from you soon. It's not going to last long. Contact.